For this video, I'm going to do something a little different. I've been wanting to uh, keep my nine-year-old interested in making things. We used to do that all the time when she was young, little wooden cars that we painted. So she's here with me on this video. Say hi. Hi. Her name is Lyric, and she's been wanting to uh, build a robot. She uh, had a chance to get on the robotics team at her uh, elementary school, and uh, I think she regrets that she didn't do it. About the same time, Electro approached me about uh, whether I wanted to uh, build one of their uh, little bot kits. This kit is uh, designed for ages six and up, so it aligned well, so I said yes. The normal YouTube thing here. They did give me this kit for free, but no money exchanged hands, and my words are my own. I've, uh, I've found them to be a nice and easy company to deal with. They sell a lot of open source parts and do PCB board prototyping, so give them a try. With all that said, let's get started. She wanted to uh, start on it late last night when she found out that it had arrived in the mail. I uh, had to have her cooler jets. First off, we need to get out our initial parts. This kit includes a, a joystick, so we won't be using all the parts to begin with. A little bit of geekiness with this kit, it's based on an ESP32 chip. This chip is used in so many open source projects, so it's a good one to learn about. We won't get into it in this video, but this kit is programmable. All the bags are marked, so the parts are easy to find. The four AAA batteries aren't included. We have all our parts identified, so it's time to start assembling. In step two, we add the battery holder. All the uh, protective paper needs to be removed from all the plastic parts. The batteries need to be added at this point because we're going to be adding the sides which will prevent them from being accessed. Then you connect the battery pack to the chassis. There's a protective cover over the connector that will have to be removed first. Notice that the connector will only go in one way, there's a notch and a tab that fit together. Make sure the notch side is facing away from the LED side. In step three, we add the acrylic side and front plate. Again, make sure to remove all the protective paper from the acrylic pieces. Make sure that you have the side panel go in the right direction. The big cutout goes over the shaft. Attach the two copper columns to the side plate using the M3 screws. This next part was a little too hard for a nine-year-old to do and not block the camera. I apparently can't keep it centered on the camera. Make sure the tab goes into the slot. Make sure the tab on the chassis goes into the slot on the side panel. Don't worry about the front yet. Do the same thing for the other side panel. Again, just worry about that back tab, not the front. And attach the side panel only in the back with an M3 screw. Up next, we need to add the front plate. Make sure the tabs get into the slots. Then add the final M3 screw. Make sure your tabs are in on the front now. In this step, we add the wheels. Yay, the wheels! This is the inside of the wheel. Excuse the ink-covered finger, she was writing down names for her robot in between shots. Notice there's a flat spot where the drive shaft goes into the wheel. And of course there's a matching flat on the drive shaft. Just align the flats on the wheel and the shafts and carefully press them on. Oh, 
On step five, we add the ultrasonic sensor. As usual, remove the protective paper. The pins on the back go into the connector on the front. Be careful not to bend the pins. It looks like a mouse. Now we need to test the bot. We can do this with the little remote that's included with the kit. Turn the bot on. Make sure to turn off the Bluetooth. The little remote won't work with it on. It works. So now we need to build the joystick. To do this, we lay out our parts. Again, the batteries aren't included. We get started with the screen. Start by removing the protective cover from the adhesive on the back. And insert the pins on the back into the socket on the board. Make sure to not press too hard and crack the screen. In step three, we add the top buttons. Just press the button caps onto the switches. Be patient and just carefully press them down until they click. Make sure to align the colors with the instruction manual. Next are the front button caps. Again, just carefully press them onto the front switches. Now we add the acrylic bottom. Remove the protective paper from the acrylic piece. We also have four M3 screws and four copper columns. Make sure you know how the bottom acrylic panel goes on the PCB board. Add one of the M3 screws to one of the edge holes of the bottom panel and carefully put it through the matching hole on the PCB board and then tighten one of the copper columns down on the screw. Make sure to not over tighten it and damage the PCB board. Repeat the same process on the other three screws and copper columns. You'll probably need to use the screwdriver, but again, don't overdo it. And finally, for this step, press the thumb button onto the switch. In step six, we add the top acrylic cover. Make sure to remove the screen's protective cover. You'll see that we forgot to and got to redo all this step again. Add the front cover and attach it with the remaining M3 screws. Again, you'll probably need to use a screwdriver, but don't overdo it and crack the cover. In the final step, we just need to add the batteries. You just need to pay attention to what direction they go in. And with that, we're ready to test. Switch on the Crowbot and make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. And then switch on the joystick. The joystick works. This little bot does so much more than just be remote controlled. It's got all kinds of sensors. And like I mentioned earlier, it's also programmable in Let's Code, MicroPython, and Arduino. It's too much for this video, but I'm gonna use it to introduce Lyric to programming, I think. The Let's Code particularly is made for kids. 
Overall, I've found this kit to be a very good quality, and easy enough, but interesting enough to keep a kid engaged. I know Lyric has already asked me if they have any more kits we can build. So that's it for this video. 